Scotch and his scotch. Four dummies. Oh my gosh. Four guys on a journey to help you with your next scotch purchases. That's who we are. Man, today we've got some orange stuff going what on. What is orange stuff? I tell you what. The orange, 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 orange one? The orange one. Look, look, yeah, it's like it's got a front door. And a back door. It's passed through. It's like a it's magic like, trick, right? It's, yeah, it is. It's made for magicians. This, um, <laughs> I'll tell you what, just the packaging alone, we might have to review just the box by itself. No. It was hard to but, get out. What is this? It's what? an orange box. It's an orange box. It's a uh, Glenfiddich uh, 21 box. rum cask. Right. This is the, uh, the Reserva rum cask finish. So and finally on our bar, Mr. Scotch for geniuses, right? <laughs> well, so, just a little bit of pressure. <laughs> so yeah, we had a uh, a subscriber that that was giving us the hard sell on this bottle. And so here uh, it is. So here it is. We went and picked it up, um, and we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot here. So 21 years in ex bourbon, right? right. Yeah. And then uh, hats, guys. hats are coming off. We are using uh, number 30 tonight, by the way. Yep. Oh yeah, point 30. So. 29 or uh, 20 years and eight months in the American bourbon casks, right? And then four months in their private rum casks, right? Let's make clear that it's, it's, it's Glenn Fittick's rum cask, so it's not like they went out and procured the casks from some rum maker. Um, they make the rum themselves, I guess, and at least what, from what I'm reading on this, and that's. That's the, the cast it's interesting. They they for just, four months. For four months, though. Yeah. It's interesting. Just a, a wee bit, if you will, of rum. Well, I would say that rum does. might overpower it, you That's know, depending thing. on right. what, what they make the rum out of. and you know, I, I, So you've got a 21-year scotch that's been kind of maturing and mellowing all the time. If you put too much rum into it... Yeah, I get that. I Obviously, they did it for a reason for yeah. four months. It just sounds small. But just, I mean, just give it a little hint. A little, a little dab will do you, apparently. So, <laughs> so I can tell you the one thing about this that I'm I'm not keen on already is that it's bottled at 40 ABV. Really? Uh, which? Mm. Why did I do that? I, I kind of think that they would have gotten a, a little more flavor and, and uh, maybe a little better reception yeah, better at, at a higher proof. But... We'll give it a shot and we'll see what we think. They might just be going for a nice, soft, textured scotch, you know, uh, hence the lower ABV. So I'm going to reserve my judgment on that. Right. I mean, just a quick nose on it. It smells really pleasant. It's I'm going to give it a second. Nice and to, fruity. To, to figs. I yeah. can smell the rum, just a hint of it. Yeah. Um, it's got a wooden cork. I like the corking of it. It's, it's a beautiful bottle. Yeah, it's a beautiful awesome box. box. Yeah, um, the packaging is great. Gold labeling, and that's cool. To be what, fair, before I get into this bottle, I, mm. I'm a big fan of Glenfiddich, right? Yep. We've, yeah. we've definitely gone through some Fiddicks that we've really loved. I mean, from the Solera, and then I started crying when I had the 18 because I didn't want the Solera anymore. The <laughs> double wood? We used to drink the double wood like it was a religion. Oh, well, that's Balvini. Oh, yeah, yeah, never mind. Yeah. Uh, what's our price on this? This is around 180 give or take. 150 okay. to 200 depending on where okay. you are. All right. That's U.S. dollars. So that's really for a 21 year, that's not that bad. I I've think. seen a lot higher for that price. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, all right. So like I'm Octomore, with you. The non-age Octomore is that price. So. The the nose yeah, on years. this for a, a 40 uh, ABV is actually very pleasant. It does. It's, it's nice. nice and light. A lot of fruits. Yeah. yeah so from, of fruits. Uh, just from a, a you know a reading standpoint, when you're purchasing this, right, you're probably thinking going into this, this is going to be a nice, easy drinking scotch at 40 ABV. You're probably yep. going to have a little fruitiness, but yep. semi-sweetness, but you're probably not looking for a deep... I, I'm thinking you're not looking for a deep, rich scotch no. here. You're not going to be no. smoky. It's not going to be a long finish, but no. we'll see. We'll see what happens. It here. doesn't say anything about <laughs> non-chill filter. It doesn't say anything about uh, natural coloring. I would suspect at 40 ABV, it's non-chill filtered. Mm, uh, yeah. It, but I, I really would like to see something about the coloring on it. Um, usually when you I, don't see that, you kind of just have to assume they added something. But. Well, I can tell you that the nose is great. Oh, it's beautiful. It is light. It's really there's, nice. There's nice uh, vanilla and... Is it a buttery There's scotch like a fig note, and then there's some orchard fruits in there. Wow, there's a lot of little fruits going on in the palate, too. Some bananas, some some uh, ah. red fruits, maybe a little bit of strawberry. Um, yes. Um, a hint of orange, I would say, even. Yep. Tropical, man. I yep. guess it's fitting the it's theme, rum. right? It's a rum. It's yeah. a rum. Yeah. It's, I'll tell you what, just smelling it, Kind of gets your mouth salivating. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's got a lot of flavors or uh, aromas that just kind of start you thinking about tropical fruits. You know, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. When I first put it in the, in the mouth, that 40 ABV hit me immediately. Like, okay, this is gonna be watery. But then all of a sudden, yeah, it, it opened up quite a bit yeah. on me as far as fruitiness and some Honestly, flavors. Honestly, it's, to... it's like a fruit salsa. You know what I mean? It's yeah. got it's got a little spice to it. It's got all those fruit flavors going on. It's actually very pleasant. 
I didn't really get a lot of banana in that. There are quite a bit of them. It's, it's a sweet banana. I don't, um, Plantains almost. Yeah. Hmm. And mm. it's, it is a little peppery on the end. It does have a little spice that comes, comes in. I will say the, the finish isn't quite, I, I mean, it's got a finish to it because the spice kind of comes back. It, it like fades out and then it comes back. So uh, it's a little bit longer finishing than I originally thought it would be. Um, but it's real easy to drink. Like I can see you going through three or four glasses of this and not trying too this hard. This is an easy sip. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, if it wasn't if it wasn't at two hundred dollars a bottle, it'd probably be an everyday sipper, man. Yeah. So I I, uh, I just took a, a re- rather large sip of this and kind of let it sit in my mouth, kind of wash over, and I got a lot more of that uh, malt and leather and some of that Glenfiddich um, new make flavor. So you got to kind of. Over, overload your palate with it though. You've got to you've got to really push it because otherwise you just get the light fruity stuff. You've got to really kind of flood your mouth. Yeah, I still have some some banana on the aftertaste in the palate. I really do. I don't know. Maybe I'm just sensitive to it or something. I, do add water. I really wish they would have bottled it at a higher ABV because I think it would have been exceptional at like we'll forty six. The finish is, is pleasant though. I mean, it's got yeah. a, it's got that bourbon finish to it a little bit or bourbon casking. It's it's there nice. Get some of that wrong nice glass. No, I there really enjoy the nose. There's a there's a I, you get past all that fruit that you guys are talking about, and then there's like this new leather smell in yeah. there, right? There's yep. that fresh. Um, I, re- I enjoy I mean, this. It's not like it's like okay. super intriguing. Where'd that water go? Oh, it's up here. Mm. But it's very pleasant. I mean, you've, we've all said it. It's um, just enough taste to make you go, mm, "What's going on there?" A little bit. What's going on here? A little bit. And that nose is nothing overwhelming. I will say that it's. I, I didn't know how complex it would be at 40 ABV. I, I really thought that it would kind of lose something in translation. Mm-hmm. But it, you can tell that it's an older scotch. It's got, it's got some complexity and some character to it that's developed over time. I think that the rum cask finish adds a really cool flavor component. I, I, I'm interested to learn more about the rum cask themselves and what they had in there. Get the water. Same here. It's right, right, right in front of your glass. <laughs> the, uh, the, so the w- when you add the water, I'm... I'm getting more, more of the bananas wow. coming oh, out. Yeah. Right? <laughs> okay, but, so. But I'm, but I'm definitely getting the banana now. But I'm also getting new wood. A new wood kind of. I'm, I'm anxious to see. Because I've got to be honest, the second the second palate, yeah. second taste of it uh, didn't have much flavor to me. You got to overload. You got to, yeah, definitely you got it. It's really nice with the water, actually. I'm Even kind of surprised. Tapioca, I would say. Yep. Tapioca. Yep, I'll get with that. He said tapioca. That's nice. Mm. It's a very pleasant scotch. I mean, well rounded so far. I really enjoy the flavor of that. Yep, that I'm, is a great summer scotch. You it's ready? Light. Yes, I'm You're, ready. he's already into it. He's halfway through so, his review already. So we, if you notice, <laughs> this bottle had been opened. We had done a little little pretaste of it, I and it was it. and it was like, eh, it's okay. But you know, sitting down, discussing it, adding the water, letting it, you know, really uh, analyze it. It it's really a nice scotch. I love the fruit. Um, it's not my normal wheelhouse with the heavier fruits, but it's so, I mean, it's so well balanced between that, the light fruit and the banana and the leather and the malt and all, and a little bit of wood on the finish. This is a, a lot better than I was expecting reading about it. Um, I enjoyed this a lot. Um, $200 a bottle is really too much for this. I That's, think. Is that on the high end or is that normal? Uh, it's 180 to 200. Maybe, yeah. maybe you can get it a deal for 150. I think it's too much for this because it's so easy drinking. I mean, it's not something you you. I don't think I can sit there with it. I can't go. Mm-hmm. And just enjoy it. It's it, it's a little too fast. I'm gonna go with a three on this because it's so well done. It's maybe a three five in in terms of if this is a hundred dollar bottle, three five all day. But I but it, this is this is a good bottle. It's a little overpriced, I think. Interesting. I agree with everything you said. Um, what's the old Pulteney Twenty One run? To oh, no. 180. Not even. Yeah, somewhere between, well, because you can't get anymore, it's dying, right? It's going it's, up. It's like 180. But, yeah. Same, same ballpark. Same price. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I think it had a little bit more flavor for me than this one. It does. Um, but it's from the same price range. I was just trying to compare some stuff here <coughs> note wise. But yeah. I think everything you said was spot on. It definitely has a lot of bananas to it. Um, uh, lots of fruits, some figs. Uh, the water, though, gosh, I, I would definitely prefer it neat. The 40 
with what the flavor you have right now is perfect for you. If you add some water to me, you're jeopardizing some of those flavors. You have to be gentle. You have to be very gentle. Yeah. I, I was a little too heavy in my in my water, so I'll give some credit back to that. But other other than that, this is a well-rounded, nice, lightly fruit scotch. If that's what you're looking for, uh, a quality something that you're going to enjoy for you know two or three glasses and enjoy every sip of it. This is for your every sip. Yeah, yeah, this is for you for sure. And the price range is a little high, but it's 21 years compared to Old Pulteney and a couple other ones. Mm, That's same ballpark, point. really. Um, so I, I say go for it, pull the trigger. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go three in this one. All right. So I, I think that they did a good job with this bottle. I wish that it was a little bit higher ABV. Yep. I think if it was bottled at like 46, uh, even 43, yeah. you know, just a little bit more because I think that it it's it's a nice scotch. It's well balanced. It's well rounded. I think that you would have even had more complexity and more depth of character if they would have bottled it a little higher ABV. That being said, I really like the rum cask finish. I think that it did awesome stuff to this scotch. Yeah. I think, you know, the packaging and stuff, they did a nice job with that without overdoing it and making it crazy. Um, this is their top of the line in their standard lineup. So $180, $200, that seems pretty fair for what you're yeah. getting. It's 21-year-old scotch. I'm, I'm debating between a three and a... I'm going to give it a three. If it was a little higher ABV, I had to give it a three, yeah. five, I think. Uh, but it once you start putting a little water on it, it, it just... It brings out some interesting notes, but you just can't quite get to them because it's it's starting to get a little watered down. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, three three for me. I will say with one caveat that I think that this would be an awesome scotch to make some cool mixed drinks with, if you didn't care about the price. Yeah, just because it's got of mixed drink. well, but just because it's got six unique like tropical fruit notes, right. and vanilla notes, and stuff like I think that you could yeah, but I think you could make a cool mixed drink with this. It reminds me of the small batch reserve a little bit. I mean, just a lighter, course, like a lighter yeah. version, right? Of that. And in all fairness, that's a pretty popular thing right now is mm -hmm. uh, some, to make high-end mixed drinks yep. with, with expensive scotch. But yeah. anyway, all right, so mm -hmm. I'm in the same ballpark as you guys, and I'm really trying to figure out where I want to go with this. i got to say uh, I'm really interested in the fact that the rum, uh, that, that's really cool. Glenn Fittick's able to do that. They're a huge distillery, right? They, they put out a lot of different – there was a couple of them, the, the Age of Discovery series. Yeah. You know, There's still one that we never got yeah. a hold of that I'm dying to get my hands on. But – um, so I really like the fact that they pushed outside their boundaries. I'd like to know more about this rum cask that they're using. You know, where are they actually selling that rum? What's what's the deal on that? Rum. Yeah, but they dump it out back. I love the <laughs> nose on this. I love the nose, neat. It started off super fruity. It got a little sweeter into some some banana, and then after that, you started getting some leather. It was like there's a lot going on in the nose. Um, the palate, neat, was pretty cool. Um, I enjoyed it. It was just. Yes, they've talked to you guys about that, the low ABV, the 40%. And I'm, I'm, anymore, I'm a high ABV guy, but I'm not going to knock them quite for that. It is what it is. Um, I really dig the packaging, but I also don't want to pay for the packaging, right? <laughs> so if this is one, you, it, it'll look cool on your bar. I mean, come on. And, and the box weighs it. So it's definitely a weapon. It can block something for you. But, um, <laughs> Take a bullet. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> But it, it, just the liquid, and you know, I'm really stuck between a three and a three five because I really enjoy that they are doing something with a rum, rum cask. It adds a whole nother note. Um, gosh, I'm really stuck on this, you guys. I, the price point's a little high. I'm not going to mess with them on that. I love Glenn Fittick, and I'm really torn between a three and a three five. I, I really am. Um, you know what? Since you went to three, we'll balance it out at the three two five, and I'll say a three five, and then that way. Because you're you're a way over, so we'll make that a date. I'm gonna say three five. I I appreciate what Glenn Fittick's doing. Um, I love the distillery. They put out great scotch. Guys. I think yeah, this will be a, a really good bottle. Man, I'm almost willing to change my bid. I think this is actually one of those scotch. I don't do rocks anymore, or maybe a big ball of you know, ice. But I think this would actually be very pleasant over a nice cube. You know, something that can yeah, I mean, smooth it down a little bit, cool I it down. I love the nose. I mean, that's the thing. It's so so, so I'm sitting here talking as you guys are talking. The balance is so good on this. It's just the the thing it really disappoints uh, us is the forty eight BB. I know, That's it. That, I, but the thing is, okay, this is what they wanted to present, and it's good as they present. Right. Yeah. True. True. I so mean, it's balanced with a, a change in flavor as you as you let it sit in your mouth. Let's be Ooh, honest. Would, would you, you love we'll to try it at cask strength? Hell yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, so we're we're all three point one two five. We all around four two threes and three five. Yeah. 
three, 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 five. Three point one two five. This is a nice so, bottle. Yeah. If you um, like that kind of scotch, listen to our review. You got it. And to the gentleman that uh, pushed us to get this one, thank you, you very man. much. <laughs> Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe. We are live every Thursday. We'll see you next week. Come and join us talking Sasha. about this one. Cheers. 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 Cheers.